Storm's coming. Which pretty much stinks, since tonight's Lucy and Kevin's big Christmas bash. No one else stinks. Love. Livy thinks I'm in love with Allison, but if love feels like this giant ache that won't quit, then who needs it? Still, being with Allison is better than any magic. But I gotta stop, because A, Allison loves Jamal, B, I'm leaving soon, and, uh, oh yeah, C, I'm an angel. <laughs> I never lived long enough on Earth to understand love. I wish I had more time to learn. I wish I had more time. Hey, will you... will you put your finger right there? There you go. Thank you. I just want to get all this stuff wrapped before I get on the plane tonight. What, Jamal's not coming home for Christmas? No. Actually, he's not. Um, Hope is really sick, and she needs a kidney transplant, so, um, he's staying in Chicago, and I'm gonna fly out there tonight. I'm just gonna bring Christmas to him, you know? Wow. Yeah. Poor little girl. Yeah. But I bet you can't wait to see him. Yeah. You know, I've just been feeling really helpless lately, because he's gone out to Chicago to do his part for whatever he can do, and Gabby is being tested to see if she's a match, and I'm, like, making gingerbread cookies. You'd be do all day, you know? Well, they're really good. Someone's gotta do it. Huh? I know. I just, um, I just can't get out of this town fast enough, you know? Allison, why are you in such a rush to leave Fort Charles? I'm just, uh, I'm just really excited to spend Christmas in a new place this year. You know, just, uh, somewhere else. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because I thought maybe you were in a rush so you didn't have to say goodbye to Ray. I gotta get Allison off the brain and get back to work. I don't have much time to get these couples back together. But Lucy's party will be my final act. That's right, let's go. Let's get ready for a night full of magic and happiness. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. I didn't want just two little holly swags. I wanted a whole truckload. Oh, yeah, well, same to you. You know what? If somebody doesn't bring those over within an hour, I'll deck somebody's halls. You got that? Fine. Ta! Oh. Well, I can see you're chock full of holiday cheer. Well, uh... Not only is Kevin not down here helping with his party, do you know, he, I, I think he's upstairs in, in some hotel room with his newest ornament. He just doesn't know that I'm on to him. No! Done, exit, I'm dangerous now, go! <sighs> Listen, your instincts stink. That woman was not some patient. I, I think right this very moment, Doc is in some room taking some other gal's temperature. He just doesn't know that when he comes down here, he's the one that's going to need medical attention. Oh. Okay. So we're all set. I think the party would be the perfect place to tell Lucy about us. Frankly, I don't want to wait another minute. Thank you. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. You've been naughty or nice. I'm lucky for you, I've been <laughs> So, what do you guys have planned for today? Oh, we're, uh, we're gonna take him to see the Christmas lights. I, I thought we uh, were gonna spend a nice, quiet evening at home. You still have to figure out how to put together that Robbie the Robot thing. Well, I don't have an engineering degree. I didn't know it was gonna be that difficult to put a toy together. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe we'll show him the lights after Christmas. I have an idea. Let's do both. Karen, hey, this is uh, to you from me. Merry Christmas. Thank you. And this is for me. Oh, thank you. Hey, have you heard about Chris getting fired? Rumor is he kissed Amanda Barrington. He kissed Amanda? That's low. <laughs> well, I have a theory on why Chris was fired. He was working on creating an anti-aging formula with some of the vampires, sir. He joined the devil if there were nickel in it. When that fell through and he realized he couldn't be richer than God, I guess he just lost it. Snapped. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, look at oh this. Oh, my god. I guess great minds think alike. And look at this. Hello. <laughs> I guess this will save me from borrowing yours, right? There you go. Thank you. 
So, so who do you think is going to take over as chief resident? Uh, hey, don't look at me. I had my day in hell, thank you. Well, maybe it'll be me. Alan wants to talk to me later on. He does? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't take it, would you? Well, I'd have to at least consider it if it were offered to me, wouldn't I? Sure, but, I, you know, I thought with the kid and everything, you... What? Hey, that's why they have... Uh, my mom made some Christmas cookies. Anybody want some? What are you going to tell me? Speaking of trouble. You guys ever work? Hello? Hello? Hel Maybe you don't understand the concept of the phone. It's your turn to speak. Hello? Hello. So, Ramsey, <clears throat> what are you going to do with yourself now that uh, you don't have a job? I'm going over to stay with my brother for a while. I have nowhere else to go for the holidays, and I'm lonely. I thought you hated Jack. No, actually, I love my brother very much. In fact, last night, we decorated the tree. I hung the star. Of course, what's going on? Nothing. It was beautiful. I cried. Leaving town? Well, I know more than that. I know where he's going. So then you know that he's an angel. Yeah. Oh my God, you do know. Yeah. I found out when Caleb was back, but I kept, you know, the whole secret. Oh my God! I've been, no, listen to me. I've been dying mm -hmm. to talk to somebody about this, and now that now that you know, and he's all sort of heavenly and stuff, then I, I know really... about the kiss too. Oh. Oh, what did uh, Valerie shoot her big mouth on? Actually, I, I found out from Rafe. Oh, he told you. I kind of had to get it out of him. Right. Allison, but he feels really bad about what happened, especially since Jamal walked know, in on the two I of know, you. I know, when he came by last night to apologize for like the hundredth time, and I told him it was no big deal, you know, because I love Jamal, and um, we worked everything out. But still, I just... What? I don't know. He looked a little lost, and I just hoped that I didn't... I don't... Oh, nothing. 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 Allison, Rafe is really special. Right. And, and it's understandable if you're drawn to him. Right. Drawn to him? Come on, Ellie, you met an angel. I know. Of course he would captivate you. I know, and he's just so amazing. So you just, uh, I don't know, like, uh, all the stuff that he can do. I mean, this one night, listen to me, we were out babysitting Daniel, and, and he created, like, this magic show of lights, you know? He just sort of, like, opened up his hands, and there was, like, all this beautiful light, but still, I just... It's not real. Right. Right. I um, just have to keep telling myself that. So you finally asked Kevin about this mystery woman? Mm -mm. I did one better than that. I followed him. Oh, my goodness, that is way too much garlic. Do the whole tray again, please. Okay. Thank you. Nothing is easy with you, is it? You know, this, this whole thing started because I saw Kevin already in takeout for two at the recovery room. And I thought, wow, I hope he's just really hungry. So I followed him. And you know what? On the way to a hotel room, he stopped and bought flowers. So, of course, I, I had to follow him to the hotel room, and I had to knock on the door and see who was there. And when the door opened, there was this gorgeous woman holding the flowers that Kevin had given her. And uh, suddenly, it was very clear. Well, could you explain it to me, then? Kevin obviously has fallen in love with somebody else. Right, just like that. Yeah, just like that end of the whole pathetic story. <laughs> yeah, you realize this makes no sense. Wh wh which part? Wh what doesn't make sense, Rafe? The fact that he can just bounce between two women like that? He was in love with me. He asked me to marry. He proposed to me, and now... Oh, you men. Whoa, easy now. Leave me out of it. Now, I say, 
you still don't have proof. So you might as well have faith and just see what happens at this party tonight. You know, you are so darn cute. And you are very sweet. But you don't know diddly about love. I, I did I, that. I, I went to Kevin. I did. I, I asked, I tried to get the truth out of him. He just lied right through his teeth, right to my face. But you're right about this Christmas party. I am going forward with it. I'm going to do it because I owe it to my public. Oh, that's big of you. Thank you. Oh, brother. You know, as, as far as me and what's his name, though, we are finished. Kabuti done over with. Really? Well, what if you're not? Hmm? I mean, what if some miracle happens tonight and everything works out? Would you take, um, 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 what's his name back? There's not a miracle big enough. Huh. That's what you think. <laughs>